welcome to Growing Dreams Homestead. I am Dana and we are homesteading on 10 acres in Indiana and today I'm down in my garden and I'm going to be starting an experiment today. So if you are on social media you have probably heard about electroculture. So I have ordered um, some copper wire and I made these little antennas and um, yeah we're going to see how it works. So I have been reading about and watching videos about electroculture, just trying to get an idea of how it works. And from what I have gathered so far is that um, the copper wire helps to receive energy from the atmosphere and then bring it down into the um, soil where it is available for plants so that they can grow better and produce more fruit and things like that. So I thought, why not try it? It can't hurt, right? <laughs> okay, so for this experiment, I am going to find two tomato plants that are both about the same height. So I was looking and this one here, it's between five and six inches. And then on um, the other end of this bed, I have another one that's about the same size. All right, so here is the other end of that bed, and I have another tomato that is close to the same size. So what we are gonna do is one will be our control and then the other one will be our experiment. All right, so I ordered 25 feet of 18 gauge wire. I did see on a video that 12 gauge wire is um, what they felt was preferred, but I had already ordered 18 gauge, so we're gonna try it with this. I can always order more. So what I did is I left a, a bit of the copper up in the air and then also some that will go down into the soil and it is wrapped clockwise from the top to the bottom of the stick and then they say to put this part um, facing south and then the part that goes in the ground facing north from what I've seen. So we're gonna try it. I also made some that have like some spirals on top and different things. So I thought we'd try um, different methods. So I will um, put some in with um, these tomatoes and then also throughout the garden um, with other plants and we'll see what happens. I'll try to take some pictures now um, and then, you know, along the way to see um, how they do. Okay, so also I had seen that these will affect about a three foot um, circle around them. So like a one and a half foot radius. Um, so I'm going to put probably two in, in this bed, half of the bed. And then the other side won't have any in it where the, um, the control group is. So I'm going to put one right here. So hopefully that should cover this section. And then I'm going to put one with just the wire sticking up. So I got one spiral one and one like this. I think it'll be fun to see um, how they work, if they work differently, or if it really even matters. All right, so there are my first two. Got more to do. I have four beds of potatoes and they have been in since Good Friday and they are flowering some of them but this one looks a little sad compared to the others so I think I'm going to put some antennas in this one. All right, so I have all nine of my antennas placed um, in different places in the garden. So we will see how things do. I'm really excited to try something new. So the 25 feet made nine, about, I don't know, 10 to 12 inch antennas. So if you are wondering like how much will it make, you know, I if I wanted enough for every bed, I'd probably have to order 
probably another four schools, I would think, um, just to have enough for, for the whole garden. But we're going to see how this goes, and I'll probably be ordering more if it works. So thanks for coming along with me, and I'll see you soon and give you an update. Have a good one. Bye. Mm -hmm.